Dr. Umar Johnson went on to Joe Button's podcast and he had a very controversial conversation where he said a bunch of different things about women, um, about black black um, men and women relationships. He also talked about uh, Eminem and he made some controversial comments about Eminem not being a GOAT uh, in, in, in African culture, something that black Africans created in uh, hip hop. And it's caused controversy where a lot of black people, as usual, are upset with Umar and attacking Umar um, for his comments, which I happen to agree with. I understand the point that Umar was making in regards to Eminem. Um, but a lot of people took umbrage with that. So let's let's listen to what Eminem's response was. I mean, uh, excuse me, Dr. Umar Johnson's response was. And then we'll listen to MC Shan who took umbrage for what he said. So let's check out both of these men and their responses, and we'll, uh, we'll come back. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Before I get into this one, I need to go get another whistle and shit, because I got something to say to Dr. Umar, right? You pick on the wrong... I understand, I understand your... Not, nah, but you have to look at the individuals that are the individuals. Eminem deserves. I can't look at Eminem as if he was Mark Zuckerberg and he came into our culture and he just robbed our culture. How do you think Eminem got in this culture? Because he was as ghetto as the rest of the motherfuckers. Why? Regardless to his skin, and I would be the biggest hip. I produced the biggest reggae artist ever. Bigger than Bob Marley, the, the Guinness Book of World Records says so. And so who am I to sit here? Snow is as ghetto as I am. I would go anywhere with snow in the ghetto before I would go some people that I grew up with. Because he's, that's in him. The ghetto. Okay? They may be white and can do what they do now and think. Don't be jealous of that. I'm not jealous because Snow can do a whole bunch of things that I can. I remember Snow taking me to the mountains of Whistler where I was the only black person there. But he was part of our fucking culture, son. You know what I'm saying? He's part of Eminem, part of our culture, Dr. Umar. You can't look at Eminem as if he was a Mark Zuckerberg and I love Eminem. Eminem loves me. He's mentioned me on the on the Grammys, wherever he was. He didn't have to say nothing about me. Okay, and I'm not saying that about him because he said that. I'm saying this because it what I'm saying is he was part of our culture. He wasn't Mark Zuckerberg. What's up, Rec Boy? He wasn't Mark Zuckerberg. Now, we could say that if Mark Zuckerberg came in and made a rap album and then decided he was going to step off into his culture and be rich because search. Exactly. Search. You're talking about search was the first one. I remember search. You be at clubs back in the day. Search made his way through this game. He picked up Pete Nice later on, but Search, Search was that real authentic individual. Back then, only MC Search and Aaron Fuchs was allowed to be in the projects, being Jew and white or whatever the fuck they was. If you wasn't Aaron Fuchs or you wasn't MC Search, they wasn't letting you nowhere near the project, son. So, same thing with MC Search. If you want to say MC Search is a money, a culture vulture, fuck you, nigga. Search my man. I remember when he was down there in the gritty grime with me. Every show I go do with Roxanne Shante, who's standing outside? MC Search. Getting in that joint. Search was like another biz. Anywhere you go, wherever it was popping, Search was there. White boy. And like I said, MC Search and Aaron Fuchs were only the two white people that could be in the projects 2 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody going to say nothing to them. They're going to get to their destination if you fuck with them niggas. Oh, it's going to be a problem for you. That's how it was, son. And so, Dr. Umar, I understand you on this black culture thing, but you're jumping on the wrong thing. Eminem, they said, that's their magazine. We don't own that magazine, sir. If that's their magazine, then that's what they want to put. You Do you read it? You must do. 
I don't read that shit that says Eminem is the number one rapper. I never heard that shit until I heard you say it. Because you read their fucking propaganda. I don't read that shit. I never heard that shit until I heard you say it. Eminem is the best. Come on, but M deserves a motherfucking slot in this game. Because like I said, M was no Mark Zuckerberg. M was no rich motherfucker to just come rob the rap game and step off. M motherfucking came in this motherfucker. He had more problems than any black nigga. Why? Because black niggas get fucked up on cocaine and, 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 and mollies and shit. Eminem had fucking pill problems, son. He had fucking white boy problems. Yes, he's a, but he's a white boy. The nigga had, and his fucking plight was just as fucked up as some of us in the black community. Fucking overcoming drugs. Look at me. I was the biggest drug addict, motherfucking crackhead, motherfucking in, in, in hip hop history, so they say. But look at me. Look at him. He had his own fucking problems, nigga. All right, so Dr. Umar, I love you. But sometimes, the, the, I mean, the, the arguments that you be making sometimes be full of shit, son. And I'm no doctor. To, but, no, you can't sit here and tell me certain things. You, know, you acting like people are robbing. Ain't nobody robbing us, son. Nobody's robbing us. Nobody's robbing us. If you sit in that spot, M gets his respect from us. So, if you don't want to respect him, you do what you do, nigga. We don't fuck with you anyway like that, nigga. We talk our hip-hop shit. You talking black racial, black fucking culturism. Yeah, we on that, but nigga, we don't fuck with that shit. Leave us over here. Em is down with us, son. Em is down with us, son. <laughs> Snow is down with us, son. Search is down with us, son. So, all of that that you're talking... You read it in they books, nigga. Stop reading they shit. You too busy following the fuck, nigga, that these the fuck, nigga, shit that these people that you... I ain't never heard nobody say amongst the people I fuck with that Eminem was a top rapper. We don't read them fucking magazines. What the fuck you doing reading that shit, Mr. Black Man? Mr. Motherfucker Umar? Fuck that. I don't care if y'all... Te- Pink Elephant Podcast. I deal with real issues to deal with real people in real time. Pink Elephant Podcast. And if you have to be the subject of my podcast, so what? So be it. But all I'm saying, Dr. Umar, talk all that about if Mark, if Mark Zuckerberg. But don't fuck with Eminem. Don't fuck with Search. And do not fuck with Snow. You leave them motherfuckers out of your whole shit. Know why? Cause Eminem is down with us. Uh MC Search is down with us. Huh. Snow is down with us. Uh. Alright? So stop with that propaganda that you pulling, son. No, no, you just make everything a race thing, nigga. Everything ain't no fucking race thing. Yes, you have a doctrine or whatever, but I'll sit my stupid ass across the table from you and still debate you. You dig what I'm saying? I have nothing against you, and you're right. I, I, I follow a lot of your doctrine and the things that you say. But when it comes to when you're sitting on a, just like, like, look, look, look button ass, you don't think Eminem, motherfucker, you know that nigga's nice. You know that nigga's nice. And why is he an innovator as far as hip hop motherfuckers like myself are concerned? Because the style that Eminem got. It may be a rendition of Twister and da 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 or whatever it is, but he's got his own lane, son. And you see Twister and him be going back and forth, but that's within our culture, motherfucker. I think I'm better than Chris. Chris think he better than me. That's what the fuck we do. But like I say to you, Dr. Umar, I follow a lot of things that you say, and I agree with most of them. But lately, you've been on this fucking rap shit. You've been fucking with hip-hop, talking about white this. Uh, ain't nobody took it over. We gave it away already a long time ago. So if you want to talk about some shit, why don't you tell us how the fuck we get it back? How the fuck do we get it back? You got all the answers, sir. We gave it away a long time ago, Dr. Umar. Instead of sitting here pointing that motherfucker, ooh, we shouldn't, tell us what the fuck we should do. Okay? So I love you, Dr. Umar. 
and this is the Pink Elephant Podcast, where I fucking talk about real issues, about real fucking things, in real time with real motherfuckers and shit. So like I said, you can fucking talk all of that shit you want, but you leave Eminem out your fucking, out, out, out your sentences, you leave motherfucking MC Search out your sentences, and you leave Snow out of your sentences, for the simple fact that these are people, what up praise, these are people that were down in the trenches with us when we were in the fucking trenches. Eminem made his money. I don't see you talking about all these black motherfuckers that made money and ain't putting nothing back into the fucking community. Now why don't you get on that shit? Matter of fact, let me just hold on for a little bit. Dr. fucking Umar. Why you ain't getting on all these rich ass black niggas that's doing shit and not putting nothing back in the motherfucking community? You want to jump on Eminem? Let's talk about these rich ass niggas. The Oprah's, the Tyler Perry's and shit. You want to talk about them motherfuckers? Let's talk about them. Oprah opened up a fucking school in Africa and not no, no black child in America fucking has any access to. All right? You want to talk about some shit? Dr. Umar. Let's talk about how Tyler Perry got a whole motherfucking complex like the fuck behind my house. What money he putting back in the hood? He wants you to just be motherfucking. What the fuck you call that? Want you to laugh at his mother? Whatever. I ain't got nothing against them. Get y'all money and shit. But you talking about the wrong motherfucker. You want to talk about Eminem motherfucker? Let's talk about these niggas. Dr. Umar. Pink Elephant Podcast, your man shows one time for your mind, two times for your soul. Like I said, I speak about real issues that concern real people in real motherfucking time. And so, Dr. Umar, please stop getting on these motherfucking podcasts and talking about white people stealing our shit. Since you have such a voice, motherfucker, why don't you start telling these niggas with money that what they should be doing with their fucking $20 trillion to help the black community. Why you fucking with this nigga Eminem? Fuck out of here with that shit, son. But like I said, I fuck with you on them. I fuck with you the long way, Umar. Just because I'm saying what I'm saying doesn't mean that I have any disrespect to your character. I just have a difference of opinion from you. Alright? I just have a difference of opinion. And so, like I said, when you want to get on this shit and you want to fucking start talking about how the black community got robbed, motherfucker. Why don't you talk about how motherfucking Puffy boat. That nigga Puff got a boat, motherfucker. That motherfucking the gas will take up everybody's rent in the project. And that's just for one fucking trip. Just to go out to the Bahamas and come back. Every, let's take Queensbridge Projects. Every nigga in fucking Queensbridge Projects rent. Puffy paid that money in gas just to go to the Bahamas. Nigga, I got a boat outside. I know how much motherfucking boat gas cost, bitch. I got a little 17-footer. When I go out on the motherfucking water on the lake, nigga, it cost me $400 a fucking time. Because I'll run through that motherfucker, go fill it up again, and run up the lake again. That's $400 on a motherfucking lake trip, nigga, just on gas. So, Umar, go talk to Puff, motherfucker. Because the gas he spent to take that big super fucking yacht to wherever the fuck that nigga went... Costs way more than motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? And you want to talk about Eminem, nigga? Stop picking your subjects a little better, son. I have nothing personal against Eminem. My comments on the Joe Button podcast had nothing to do with Mr. Marshall Mathers personally. And I want Mr. Marshall Mathers to understand that Dr. Umar Ifatunde harbors no personal ill will towards you this is not personal this is business this is not personal this is business eminem i want you to hear me young man this is not personal this is business you are a talented musician lyricist producer you seem like you are an okay guy you've never done nothing to me and you've never done anything that i personally witnessed to be worthy of condemnation. So my comments are not personal. They apply to any non-African.
This is about business, the business of protecting the integrity of African culture. I said my comments on the Joe Button podcast was about business, not personal. The business of protecting the sacredness, authenticity, and integrity of African culture. I said that no non-African can ever be the best of anything in African culture. You can't be the best cook of African food. You can't be the best rapper of African hip hop. You can't be the best singer. You can't be the best priest of African culture. Nothing we create can a non-African be the best at. First of all, it makes absolutely no sense at all. I don't even see how an African can come to the conclusion that a non-African can be the best at anything when we are the oldest people. We are the first people and we are the most numerous people. So when you say a non-African is better at X, Y, and Z than a member of the race, you're saying that this person can do this better than two billion Africans or you're saying not only can they do it better than two billion Africans on the planet you're saying they can do it better than all of the billions of Africans that have ever walked the planet earth you know and I know that that is absolutely ridiculous you know and I know that that is absolutely ridiculous you know, like I know, that that is absolutely ridiculous. And from a cultural integrity perspective, from a cultural integrity perspective, this is not about Mr. Marshall Mathis. I don't have nothing personal against that man. But from a personal, from a, excuse me, from a cultural integrity perspective, haven't they stolen enough from us? Haven't they appropriated enough from us? Haven't they robbed, steal, killed, enslaved, lynched, miseducated, mass incarcerated, politically dominated us enough? That you mean to tell me that after 404 years, you got black people running around playing defense attorney and cheerleader for white folks? You got black people running around after 404 years playing defense attorney and cheerleader. The fact that you got black people arguing for a white man to be considered the greatest of all time in an African art form speaks to how psychologically ill we are as a race of people. After all we have been through in this country, you got black men, black men running around playing defense attorney for white folks, advocating for Marshall Mathers, nothing against Eminem personally, but for a black person to go out of their way to fight for any white person to be considered the greatest of all time in an art form that should be sacred to our community, our culture, and our people is absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I don't know what you guys think, but for me, I side with Umar on this. Um, nobody in the hood that I um, on the East Coast, I haven't been to Baltimore, D.C., Boston, uh, New York City, Virginia. I don't know nobody that rocks Eminem in the hood. In the clubs, at the block parties, at the barbecues, Eminem is not being played. So do I think Eminem is a dope rapper? Yes, absolutely. But the greatest of all time in our culture? Absolutely not. Most black people in black culture are not playing Eminem. Eminem is big for white people. So whites are the majority in America, so he become a star. But he emulated black culture. So you can't emulate something. You can't become the greatest at something that we was already doing. So that's what I want to say to that. Leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you guys think.